Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today uh, we meet again for uh, PST 371, which is the plastic fabrication. In chapter four, we will cover on compression and transfer molding. I think this is not something new for all of you, um, but it's more on revision and more on um, the operating uh, or uh, the actual process involved. Uh, during the um, compression and transfer molding itself. So the learning outcome for this uh, uh, chapter, the first one is to state the uses, uh, uses and the futures of compression and transfer molding to name and sketch all type of compression mold to explain and sketch the process of the machines. And of course, uh, this uh, could require you to sketch uh, some simple illustration of the process involved of the uh, machine or in this specific uh, chapter is uh, compression transfer molding to set the compression transfer molding product and finally to discuss the advantage and disadvantage of compression and transfer molding machine. So the introduction, it is a process involved using mixed raw material or we call the bank creating a preformed and placed into a cavity between a two half of a heated mold under pressure at a certain time and temperature. The preform provides a surplus of the matter to ensure a total cavity field. While it is placed, the mold then close and heat and pressure are applied to allow the preform to fill the cavity. Although the uh, Compression and transfer molding is uh, widely used for thermoset or elastomeric material, but it's also uh, capable uh, in producing uh, products using uh, thermoplastic material. So the compression molding can be used to create affordable plastic component that may replace standard metal components. Okay, this is extremely desirable for company who's trying to achieve a more cost-effective method of production, especially at early stage. Okay, some of the industry, medium or small industry, uh, they would prefer use the uh, co sorry the compression and transfer molding instead of injection molding. As we know, the cost of uh, compression molding is much cheaper. We uh, and it is uh, desirable because uh, be uh, the production rates, uh, although the production rates of uh, compression molding is slightly lower than injection molding, but as long as they can supply the demands uh, of the consumer or uh, end user, it is uh, good enough for small and medium industry. Typically, the process can be done with either thermoplastic or thermoset. I mentioned earlier, thermoset do tend to be the most popular choice of compression molding. Ah, uh, macam saya cakap tadi lah. So boleh guna untuk thermoset atau thermoplastic. Walaupun kebanyakan compression molding dan transfer molding digunakan lebih kepada thermoset, tapi thermoplastic juga digunakan. Okay, early stage dulu awal awal memang orang guna compression molding uh, untuk produce the article. Compression molds are made from steel and the cavity are chrome plated. It should have flash land and flash recess and groove to facilitate removal of flash. Okay, the types of material used in compression molding involve uh, including the rubber, thermoset or elastomer, thermoplastic, thermoplastic elastomer, TPE, and also a composite material. For material application, wide range of thermoset are compression molds. Molded. Uh, the most commonly used types are phenolic, urea, formaldehyde, melamine, epoxy, and alkyl. Elastoma can also be molded as described in a previous paragraph. The thermoplastic can be compression molded, but the cycle time will be much slower since the mold need cooling before injection. Whereas for thermosets, the mold is hot during the whole cycle. Therefore, applications for thermoplastic are limited. Typical thermosetting product including uh, electric plug and socket, cookware handle, place button, etc. Recent application including orthodontic retainer and pacemaker casing as well as the plenty reinforced plastic molding. For higher quality product, the vacuum chamber are now added for more of eliminated defects caused by the entrapped air or water in the molding compounds. Uh, later on, we go through the each of the process. Okay, this is uh, the moldings of polymer for thermosets and thermoplastic. Basically, thermosets uh, uh, 
uh, the raw material will be put in a mold and then involve the cure process and then you produce the final product. For thermoplastic, you put in a mold and it uh, produce a final product. Basically, uh, for thermoplastic, there is no curing process. Okay. Uh, that's the difference between the thermoset and thermoplastic. But basically, uh, the equipment and the, um, uh, what we call that, the whole process is uh, similar. Okay. Product from compression molding, it can be uh, either, this one is most of the engineering parts, which is the composite material uh, to replace any metal components, okay? We can also produce uh, hollow parts, which is such as a bottle, and then we have uh, some kayak, uh, what we call this, um, pedals, which is also made from the composite material with high com uh, impact uh, properties and also very strong material. Okay, the main component compression molding involving the upper movable mold half. It can be upper or lower mold that uh, that's are moving, but basically uh, uh, one of the molds should be moved to enable opening and closings of the mold. And then we have charge. Charge is also related to the raw material that you use. And then uh, we have the lower fixed mold platen and injector pin. Sorry, I think something wrong with this slide. Okay. Okay. The compression molding, uh, this is some sort of the 2D illustration. Uh, later on, you go through these uh, types of uh, illustration. And then... Um, the process involved compression molding consists of top and bottom plate mold that is machined to a custom configuration followed by the mold cavity. The polymer is added between the plate which is then will be compressed under heat and pressure for a specific amount of time. You allow it to melt it, to flow and to take the shapes of the cavity. So you need a um, specific amount of time depends on uh, uh, shapes of the cavity, uh, the delicate details, the uh, flow rates of the material, uh, the size of the article. So it's also uh, time dependent during the process. The process monitor variable closely and adjust to compensate the variable different during each cycle. After the product is formed, the mold is open, the part is removed, the mold clean, and the cycle repeated. So each of the process, each of the cycle involves uh, producing a single part, so uh, multi-cavity parts, but the process is a loop process, okay, a cycle process. Okay, this is the simplified steps. Step one, a piece of specified width raw material is placed in the mold. So you need to wait the actual width. Some uh, of the mold requires slightly uh, bigger amounts than the actual volume that can uh, occupy. Okay, the mold is then closed and held under hydraulic pressure while the material takes shapes. As the, it takes shapes, the excessive material will uh, overflow and produce a flashing. Okay, and the mold open the part can be removed, and the cess material we call flash need to be trimmed of the part. So, yang bagian terlebih ni kita akan trim lah, yeah. So this is some of the uh, image of the uh, uh, compression molding that we use in industry. Uh, I think this one uh, producing a bottle caps. Okay. Product from compression molding uh, commonly uh, used is a urea formaldehyde that been used for uh, what we call the power supply cover, and then we have melamine formaldehyde and polypropylene melamine also being used <coughs> for ma uh, in making of uh, melamine uh, what we are, what we call that uh, dishware. Okay, uh, being a mangkok melamine, I also think about uh, It is made from melamine formaldehyde. Type of mold, I think this is uh, very familiar with you. Okay, I uh, I would call this one or uh, more on revisions. Okay, so the first one is open flash, and then we have a fully positive and semi positive. We go through uh, one by one. Open flash, a slight excess of material is placed in the open mold. As the mold closes, this excess must overflow through the land, which, as it is orientated perpendicular to the mold closing direction, become gradually thinner, the offering more resistant to flow and thus causing the raise in cavity pressure. After rapid curing, the thin material in the land of the uh, mold clamping force causes the cooperation of flash, which is essential to remove, but uh, sometimes a little bit complicated. Okay, 
Pipe dimension are relatively difficult to control accurately in more closing direction, but mold fabrication is relatively simple. Okay, among all of the three types of mold, this is the most simple process. Okay, only resin having a high viscosity pressure can be molded, usually to be used for flat and shallow product. Quite a wasteful process because uh, you need to use excessive material. Okay. This is the open flash mold illustration. So you have a, a cavity, cavity mold, and then at here you have a cavity and raw material that you place, excessive material that you place, and you have a groove, flash groove, and land. Okay, as you closing the uh, lid or the movable uh, platen, it will squeeze the material, and the excessive material will overflow to the flash groove. Okay. Open flash mold advantage and disadvantage. The advantage you use low powder in a cavity. Okay, uh, sorry, use less powder in cavity. Low labor cost. Uh, use for large quantity with small thin part products. The disadvantage hard to remove a flash. So slow, slow process and a lot of thermal heat loss. And then we go to the fully positive. Okay, what is fully positive? Mole half play the role of piston to exert the positive pressure on the material charge. Gap must be sufficiently thin to prevent significant material leakage. But dimension in a mole closing direction are directly dependent on the amounts of material charge. Okay, this is the uh, image or illustration for fully positive or plunger mole. So, the fully positive uh, mole, the different you have a plunger area. Okay, this is the top mold it's having a plunger that push the material in a cavity, so a better compaction. But the size of plunger should be slightly smaller, having a gap between a cavity and a plunger, so that you allow the uh, excessive material to overflow. Okay, this is uh, we call the gap. Okay. The advantage it requires less powder in a cavity, produce part of highest density in full compression. Hand can be applied. So, okay, for fully po fully positive uh, mold, uh, you need to weight accurately the material. So you use the less powder or the less raw material. Huh? Okay, so, and then because having a plunger, you will have a full compression in better compaction of your material. But the disadvantage: correct amount of material must be used. Ah, uh, tak boleh macam yang tadi awal tak excessive material. So you need to have a correct amount. So you need to know the actual uh, volumes uh, that can be uh, filled in a cavity. Gas liberated during chemical generation are trapped inside a causing blister. Okay, some sort of the material uh, is not um, suggested to use a fully positive mold, although having a better compaction of the uh, final uh, products. But the gas, the gases uh, produced during the chemical reaction curings may trap and uh, produce uh, causing a blister or any defects. Difficulty in injecting of uh, the molding. Okay, as we know, as you uh, use a plunger, you put a pressure of the man, uh, to a raw material in a cavity for better compaction. At the same time, uh, you will create a difficulty injecting of your uh, produced article. Finally, the semi-positive mold. The combination of open flash and positive mold feature. Possibility of vertical and horizontal flash. Okay, they having both. Okay, kalau tadi, uh, uh, what we call that, uh, open flash dengan fully positive, kita akan ada salah satu vertical and horizontal. For semi-positive mold having both uh, flash. Okay, mold is tapered 2 to 3 degree on each side to allow the flash to flow and tapered gas, trapped gas to escape on it, thus producing a clean blemish free mold component. So actually, uh, you want to have a, a good uh, compressed uh, article or products using a fully positive at at the same time, you want to eliminate the disadvantage of the fully positive. So you come up with the semi-positive mold. So this is the illustration. Okay. The plunger being tapered a few degrees to allow the raw uh, passive material and the gas to escape during the process. And you allow the uh, excessive material to overflow to the flash groove. Okay, So having uh, these both uh, designs of the uh, open flash uh, and the semi-fully uh, uh, positive mold, 
uh, in a semi-positive mold is a good uh, advantage to create a better compaction of the material. Okay. The sequence of compression molding. Okay, uh, firstly, you need to clean the mold and apply the mold release agent if required. Some of the material will stick to the mold cavity. So, of course, you need to remove any debris, the leftover of material, etc. And apply the release mold release agent. And then load, load the preform into cavity, the raw material itself that you already pre -wits. Okay, you close the mold. Open the mold briefly to release the trapped gas. Uh, this is very uh, important process to remove any trapped gas. Okay, apply heat and pressure until the curing is complete. If a thermoplastic material, you allow it to flow. Okay, open the mold and place the hot pipe into a cooling fixture. Advantage of compression molding, it is a cost efficient, suitable for high volume production, capable of producing large component, efficient in material usage, uh, which is the wastage is minimal, physical quick and efficient with low numbers of process steps, capable of producing detailed features such as a whole while other molding technique would need additional machining to de deliver, and material flow is short. Okay. But the disadvantage of uh, compression and transfer mold, uh, compression molding is hard to mold complex part. Insert and fine ejector pins are easily damaged because of the pressure that you apply during the compression process. Complex shapes are sometimes hard to achieve. Okay, only a simple uh, shapes of article a cavity can be used for compression molding. Long molding cycle may be needed, and trimming flash can be a difficult process. This is the illustrations of the uh, compression molding uh, name. And then we move to the transfer molding uh, process. Some iteration transfer molding involves having a piston and cylinder like a device built into a mold so that the polymer may be squirted into a cavity through a small holes. It is actually a variation of compression molding but differ because the material is loaded in a chamber outside the mold cavity. Okay, the molten resin is transferred by pressure from melt pot into a mold which is uh, at a temperature above the melt point of the resin. For comparison, injection molded, the mold term temperature is below the resin melt point. Okay, this high temperature is important for the feelings of the mold with a high flow length. Wall thickness ratio and to allow for shrinkage compensation, otherwise jeopardized by premature gait freeze of a cooling in a mold. Okay, it's too lengthy in uh, wording, but I go through with the some illustration later on. This process is similar to compression molding. The difference is instead of loading the polymer into an open mold, the plastic material is preheated and loaded into a holding chamber called the pot. The material is then forced transfer into preheated mold, cavity, and hydraulic plunger through a channel called the sprue, the mold remain closed until the material inside the, is cured. After the key advantage of the transfer molding of a compression molding is then di different inserts such as metal, prong, semiconductor chips, very composite fibers, ceramic, and etc. can be placed positioned in a mold cavity before the polymer is injected or drawn in the cavity. This ability makes transfer, transfer molding uh, the leading manufacturer process for integrated circuit package and electronic component with molded terminal pin studs connector and etc. The composite industry fiber reinforced composite are often manufactured by the process called resin transfer molding RTM. Layers of textile preforms long fiber woven or knitted uh, in pattern are prearranged in the mold. The resin is then injected and printed. The preform vacuum is often used to avoid the air bubble and helps draw the resin into a cavity. In addition, the resin used has the relative low in viscosity. Okay, I couldn't see that that words. This is the illustration of transfer molding. Oh, okay. Despite of having a transfer molding of two plate mold, you have a three plate or four plate mold. Okay, here you have a pot. Okay, the pot, the transfer pot, you place the raw material or charge, and then you have plunger to squeeze the material through a sprue and fill the mold cavity. Okay, as it cure or fully solidified, uh, the mold half will be open, and the uh, 
the previous uh, article or parts will be ejected using ejector uh, pin. Okay, this is the illustration of the transfer molding. Okay, similar but having a two cavity. Okay, so you have a two uh, sprue over here. The simplify steps. Okay, here's the illustration of simplify process of transfer molding. A piece of polymer. Sorry, this one is typo. The polymer is placed into a portions of the mold called the pot. The plunger on the topmost part of the mold fits snugly in a pot. So I will attach raw material dekat dalam pot awak. Okay, the mold is then closed up and under hydraulic pressure the Rubber or thermoplastic material is forced through a small hole, uh, the gate or the sprue into a cavity. The mold is then held closed while the polymer cures or solidified. Okay, so here as you apply the pressure, you force the material to fill the cavity. Okay, the plunger is raised up and the transfer pad material may be removed and thrown away. Ah, ini awak tak nak lah. Ini bukan you punya product. And then the mold is open, the part is removed, and the excessive material we call the flash may be trimmed. Okay, so a bit kurang je dengan uh, uh, compression molding. Instead, they having a pot for a material to be uh, transferred into a cavity. Uh, the advantage macam yang cakap tadi lah. Kalau katakan uh, this transfer molding, they allow you to produce a composite material. So, you can insert anything, metal, ceramics, fabric, etc. Okay. The uh, machining. Okay. We have a 100 ton uh, transfer molding press upstroke with uh, this uh, specification. Okay. And then we also have 120 ton transfer molding press upstroke. The advantage and disadvantage of transfer molding, higher output based on single cavity, higher quality molding and uniform thickness, less cycle time. Mold can obtain a delicate detail compared to the compression molding. Uh, tra transfer molding can produce a delicate detail and having a better tolerance compared to the compression molding itself. But the disadvantage it is expensive mold and tool than compression molding, higher loss of material to the runner and the gate itself, and it is having a slight higher maintenance compared to the uh, compression molding. This is the transfer molding parts. Okay. Machine design consideration. First one is line pressure. The pressure in PSI is the hydraulic lines of the press supplied either by the self-contained pumps from the central pump and the accumulator system. And then we have clamping ramp pressure. The total pressure is delivered by the main ramp determined by the multiplying a ramp area by the line pressure. And then we have transfer ramp pressure. Transfer ramp pressure is the total force applied by transfer ramps. Expressed in pound determined by multiplying the hydraulic ramp area by the line pressure. Okay. And then we have plunger pressure. The pressure exerts on the material in the transfer chamber by the plunger. It is equal to the injection ramp pressure divided by the area of the plunger. And then, and then we have a mold clamping pressure which is very important in order to have a very good uh, final article. The effective pressure should hold the mold close again. The pressure exerts by the metal within the mold cavity and runner. It is expressed in the PSI and is determined by dividing the clamping ramp pressure by the total projected area of cavity and runner in square inch. Then we have a mold design. It's a considered good practice in multiplying cavity plunger types transfer mold to mount the multi mold cavities. Force and runner are as separated hardened steel insert in the mold chases and retainer plates. And then we have runner gate some van. The design of runner and size and location of gate can be controversial subject in this field. It depends on the types of material, raw material that you use, design, etc. Location, size and shapes of gate are quite important to proper operation of the mold. So, and then we have a vacuum venting to overcome the trapping of air or ga gas in a cavity in location uh, that is difficult to vent effectively. And selections of material, the problem here is to a threefold of choose of types. Uh, 
choose some type of material that will yield the desired physical properties in the molded article example the impact strength heat resistance or low electrical loss and finally the molding pressure itself it will be extremely difficult if not impossible to measure the accurately or to calculate territorially the magnitude and distribution of pressure within thermostatic material flow in a trumper molding i think that's all for this chapter okay uh, I hope you learn something and you gain something from this chapter. And by then, uh, I hope to see you next week. And Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Thank you.